Hey ho, it's Wednesday. Happy hump day. Halfway through the working week. Hmm. Selfishness. What springs to mind when you think of someone who is selfish? You'll probably think of someone who is self-centered. All they do is think about their needs, what they want, not what anybody else wants. And you don't usually think of them as someone who is helpful. But you can also look at selfishness through another lens because you can be incredibly helpful and do lots of really good things for people. And you can selfishly hoard all the internal benefits that being helpful, being supportive gives you. Now, you might be at this point scratching your head and going, what is Michelle talking about? So let's dig a little bit further. What, what do I mean by this? What we know is that when people do good things for other people, when people help other people, they feel better about themselves. So when you unexpectedly offer to help somebody, when you go out of your way to do something nice for someone, you feel good. You might be walking down the street and you see someone who's struggling with their groceries or you notice a work colleague who's really struggling to get a piece of work done. Now, when you offer to help, you'll typically get a thank you and that's nice. But what you may not realize is that your brain will also release happy chemicals that make you feel good about the situation and about yourself. And so when you do nice things for other people, you're actually getting something in return, something that you may not realize. And the research shows that people who help other people are typically far happier than those people who don't. So rather than seeing helping someone as a burden, flip it, take a selfish lens and go, wow, by helping someone, I'm actually helping myself because I'm going to get all of these internal benefits. I'm going to feel better about myself, better about the situation. And when you help other people, you also come to realize how many good things you have around you. And it's that sense of gratitude that helps you maintain perspective and often a far more optimistic view on life. So next time you're faced with the challenge of, do I help, do I not help, be selfish. Think about the benefits you're going to get when you help someone. It might just change what you do and how you approach it next time. And I'm going to leave you with the words of Aristotle, a very, very clever fellow. And he said, happiness is the meaning and the purpose of life, the whole aim and end of human existence. So what are you going to do today to help someone else so that you can get some happiness benefits? Take care.